Hello, my name is Jeremy Levy and I'm a consultant nephrologist, and a kidney specialist and I work at Imperial College Healthcare. When talking about diet, there are a series of things that we can think about. The first is salt. Eating a low salt diet helps lower blood pressure, but it also helps protect the kidney. And most of us eat far too much salt. So salt is mostly found in processed foods or pre-prepared meals that you simply microwave. And as a number, most of us are probably eating about 10 grams of salt a day. But if you have kidney disease, you should be aiming only for about five grams of salt. You should read the labels on the food things that you buy regularly to start to get a feel for how much salt is in things. And it's best just to cook from fresh, using fresh ingredients, and then you're eating a relatively low salt diet. Some things like soy sauce are loaded with salt and you should minimize your use of those, but look at the labels. There's plenty of advice online that you can read about reducing your salt intake. Other aspects of a healthy diet include eating plenty of fruit and vegetables. Some people get anxious when they get told they've got kidney disease that they mustn't eat too much potassium, but this is only true if you have the most severe form, CKD5 really, and everybody else should be eating plenty of fruit and vegetables and have that as part of your diet every day and five portions is what's recommended. So really look at your plate and see what you're eating and use a range of fruit and vegetables of different colors as being very good advice. Your meals should also include some starchy foods such as rice, especially brown rice and whole grain breads and pasta. Protein is very important, but more plant-based proteins are really good for kidney health and eating less meat protein and especially trying to eat a bit less red meat but overall do eat some protein some people get a bit frightened but it's very important to keep protein intake up beans lentils fish are all very good as part of a healthy balanced diet in terms of protecting your heart eating a low fat diet is helpful and that will also help kidneys to a degree these sorts of dietary changes anybody can make and they work for diets from all countries around the world. Occasionally we do tell people to eat diets specifically low in phosphate or potassium, but this is not needed for most people with CKD, especially stage three or four, only if it's really stage five. And in those diets, people do need to restrict some dietary uh, components, some aspects of their food, but this isn't needed for most people. But if your doctor has said you need to reduce your potassium intake, they'll give you some specific advice. But again, most people with CKD do not need to do this, especially in the early stages of chronic kidney disease. Exercise is really important and exercise can do as much as almost any tablet to improve health. So everybody should be exercising more. And if you've got kidney disease, it's just as important. And you will do no harm by exercising. A mixture of aerobic exercise, so walking, or anything else that you enjoy, for four or five times a week for 30 minutes is really good. But also some weight-based exercise, lifting things, standing up, but basically any exercise at all. It will lower blood pressure, improve the blood supply to the kidney, and in general, keep you fitter overall, but certainly can help slow down kidney damage. Finally, you may be glad to hear that a bit of alcohol is absolutely fine. As long as you're not drinking more than recommended amounts, about 14 units of alcohol a week, but the occasional glass of wine, gin or beer is of no problem, and does not harm your kidneys at all. It may also be of some benefit. Just don't go too far. So chronic kidney disease or CKD is common, but can be well controlled in most people by a combination of diet, exercise, lifestyle changes and medicines from your doctor. And in most people, we can prevent it progressing to end stage kidney failure. I hope this has been helpful.